In order to flash the space throttle grip, we will need the following items. The latest firmware package, VKB dev config, and Zboot loader. All of these items can be found from vkbcontrollers.com, linked below. We recommend you make a dedicated folder and unzip all of these archives in there. Next, we will want to open Zboot Loader. From the device list that appears on the UI, you will want to select this text and then click the Start Boot button. With your device now in bootloading mode, target the new firmware by clicking the little menu button. Navigate to the firmware folder that you just created and then enter the Stex firmware subfolder. In here, you will find two firmware files. Firstly, the main Stex file, which will be used on all Stex versions, both SDG and MTG, except for the right-handed ones, and then the Stex Cosmo R file, which will only be used for right-handed versions of the Stex. For this particular device, we'll be using the normal Stex firmware file. Select it, and then apply by clicking the Flash It button. After a successful flashing of the device, Cboot Loader will automatically close. Next, we'll jump into VKB Dev Config. With Dev Config loaded, select the device in the device list, navigate to the Tools tab, and then click the giant red default button. This will apply the proper default configuration to your device. Your Stex will restart, and then a pop-up will ask if you'd like to configure it. Click yes, and the device will restart once again. This time, a pop-up window will offer us the opportunity to calibrate the device. We'll do so by following the on-screen instructions. After the device restarts, you can continue with setting up your device, including setting up detents. If needed, there's a link below to check how to do so.